called Martin. Um, I'm, I am, have a music festival, digital art and electronic music festival called Mutech. Um, so I'm also a DJ on the side and, uh, and collect a lot of records. Um, and yeah, that's it. Nice. Um, so as a, we were talking earlier, like you are one of the founding um, creative artists in terms of what you do. Um, here in the UAE. Do you want to tell the people a little bit about how you started and your journey from then up until now? Um, coming back from London in 2002, um, I thought I would immediately make it, um, especially being the first in, in my uh, discipline. Uh, but the reality was a little bit harsher than that. Um, people couldn't appreciate, um, you know, handmade pieces, uh, uh, art, uh, as wearable, uh, people were too into you know buying brands or uh, um, uh, buying her brand jewelry. Was much more affordable than mine. <laughs> um, so I, I had to find a way to be able to reach my audience, uh, and at the same time, um, you know, tell them why I'm creating what I'm creating. I'm not doing it to earn uh, a lot of money out of it, but I'm creating it. To Quite passionate in making those pieces. I want to tell a story um, through the pieces that I create. So I had to understand my society all over again. I had to uh, understand, you know, how things happen. And I think I was able to do that through volunteering a lot of hours um, in the first few years, taking many different uh, workshops uh, between Abu Dhabi and Dubai, and that really helped me to understand. The society I'm working with, although I am from the country, it's still within five years of just living abroad. It was very um, different. Or uh, again, because I mean, with so many people coming from all over the world, living here, uh, it's a very diverse country. So I needed to find a way to to continue being myself, but in the same time, uh, find a way to earn my living. And that happened after few years of, of, you know, meeting the, the, the people, understanding, and um, that's when I realized, you know, just doing art is not And that's when I decided, okay, um, I need to find something to, you know, uh, build a business out of. Um, and I had to, you know, put as the artist in one box and then as the, uh, the business person in another box. And that's how I survived. Amazing. And you, Paul, you've been here for six years now, I believe? So, uh, six years, yeah. Six years in Dubai. Um, we started Mutech, which is a digital art festival, two years ago. Um, what we try to do uh, is to bring digital art and immersive experience in Dubai. Uh, so we had our second edition two weeks ago. Um, and we had a dorm in Jitex uh, where people would come and lie on bins bag and go through immersive uh, audiovisual and electronic music experiences. So what we try to do is really, uh, through a new form of art, uh, promote local artists, international artists, gather people in different venues, can be theater, nightclubs, museums, um, and try to also shock people, their emotions, work on, on all that at the same time. Amazing. So you guys come from two very different aspects of the, the artist sphere, um, from a more tangible, touchable, you know, product based, through to the digital experiences and through music, and through all we talked about earlier. How has art? How has you know the industry? I guess. Um, how has that evolved? Uh, you know, significantly over the last, you know, three, four, five years here in Dubai. Um, and what do you see it evolving to even further into the future? I mean, it has evolved uh, very. Dramatic. Um, today, um, we see all sorts of events happening um, to target certain audience, to showcase work, um, collaborations. I mean, it's not even easy to, to get in everything, uh, but at the end of the day, at least there is a very strong platform that exists. Um, and through such platforms, um, I think we, we sort of have to find our way and, and uh, go through different experiences and, and develop the right you know, network around us to develop those 
If you look around, obviously, like with High D3 and you know Dubai Design District, these places have been put in place as infrastructure um, in terms of somebody's thought of them and build them and develop them. But do you now see that they're going to start developing like an organic mind of their own, and hopefully, this will then develop and grow the artistic community? Well, definitely. I mean, um, they existed. I mean, I remember the before even building all these buildings. Um, there were all these uh, brainstorming sessions where they met all the creatives and they asked us what they what we dreamed of and what we wanted. Um, and I mean, in the end of the day, having buildings without the proper creative individuals would not do much. So in the end of the day, it's us who actually create these cities, who create those uh, vibes and energy that sort of make a place happen. Amazing. And we were talking about the, the Mutak um, Festival and about all these immersive experiences. Obviously, when people talk about digital art, you know, not everybody understands it, not everybody gets it. How has that been since you started the festival here in the UAE? Um, I mean, for us, it was... So Mutek was created in Montreal 20 years ago. Now it exists in nine major cities, including Tokyo, Barcelona, San Francisco, Buenos Aires, Mexico City, and Dubai. Dubai is on the map for two years now. For us, it was logical to bring it here uh, because Dubai is a young city, but Dubai is a very digital city. I mean, you look at it by night, uh, everything is super digital. When you, look, you deal with your admin, I mean, when I'm back home in France, you know, everything is on paper here, everything is digital, like it's crazy. So there is definitely a wish for this city to capture as much techno technological content as possible. And if you look at Expo Vision as well, it's about art aligned with technological development. So Mutek fits perfectly there. And, and uh, for us, it's also, I mean, we have some challenge, we can talk about it, but we see a great, great fit with the evolution and the vision of the city. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this place evolves and grows so quickly on so many different levels. And as you mentioned earlier about collaboration, and I think that's really key in terms of you know developing and fostering an ecosystem and a community for art. You know, what more can we do in terms of you know collaborating to push frontiers and to, to further develop the artistic community? I believe grassroots projects are the key for the future. Um, more opportunities of connecting different generations together through different projects. I mean, we do see collaborations. We need more, way more than what we're seeing today. And um, I think it's very important to find ways to connect the creative minds uh, in the seven cities rather than just, you know, Dubai. I think in, in the end of the day, there's so many, but because again of geographic indication, I think we don't make use of Dubai itself. And I think we need to find ways to bring this um, together, especially with all the technology that exists, it's just finding the right platforms. Yeah, for sure, I mean, well, there is a lot of technology that exists, you guys work in it all the time. What are you seeing that people are looking for more and more, because we were talking about immersive experiences, you know, we've got the whole, I want to say, millennial generation, and people are looking more and more for these Instagrammable moments, you know, shareable content, like people want to feel an emotion, as we discussed earlier. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, people want to, like the dome was, so we, just to tell you again, we had a dome and people get in and they lie down and we tell them, you cannot go out for the next 30 minutes. So if you don't have that time, you should go out now. We really force people to forget about their calendar, they just lie down and they solve the art. You know, it's like digital and music uh, and it's pretty, it's, it's catchy, you know. Straight away you're into it and, and you go through a journey. Uh, yeah, of course people, now, I mean, art, you know, there's different forms, but I think in Dubai, for Mutech programs in other geography has different forms of digital art. Some are more minimalist, some are more, I wouldn't say obvious, but are very catchy. You know, as soon as you see it, you're completely touched. And that's what we start to do. So we start to bring those things and progressively you can bring more minimalist stuff. So it's, it's, it's like a journey. Um, but here for now, like we focus on stuff that are really like, catchy and, and, and that are easy for people to understand because it's a new form of art, of gathering people, so you've got to go through progression. 
and how's that been? Because obviously I go to the cinema and sometimes it's really difficult to get people to be quiet for, you know, for a movie, never mind to absorb an artistic experience. Um, so how's that been? You know, how have you seen it from, I think, your first festival in the change to the second one? Um, that's a challenge, actually. To, uh, there's an education, you know, we're talking about education when we talk about um, upcycling before, it's the same for arts. Uh, when you bring new form of arts, there's an education that comes with it. Uh, but people, you know, people are always keen and, and, and love to discover new areas. So as soon as you just bring the right, the right dialogue, that you you have a good transition, they understand. But yeah, there's there's definitely some people that keep their phone on and, <laughs> and take some flash, you know, add their visual on the visual. <laughs> yeah, this happened. And then as a, um, I'm trying to think of my question. I was going to say. So obviously we were talking about um, the, the future, you know, technology obviously, but in terms of what you're doing, you know, what does the future hold for yourself and also for the opportunities which may lie ahead? I personally, I mean, I think definitely the future brings more opportunity. Um, it's, it's been this way, it's been like the snowball effect since I started in the art world, uh, world and um, it's only been progressing. I mean, in the end of the day, I. See, I've created a lot of different projects where I um, try to educate and build my own audience, work with young kids, uh, with other designers, and I see more and more of that happening. I, I still don't see myself very connected to the social media world. I, I just feel it's so, you know, so out there. Uh, people are living those moments that can be so tangible yet intangible at the same time. For me, I am all there for true experiences, for getting people to connect to the environment, to the identity, to the culture, and I think this is a big part of why I've been working with open materials, um, and I've been pushing the boundaries where I, I mean, we've been talking here uh, about upcycling, and to me, I see resources like the palm branches, as natural resources that we haven't tapped in. I've been creating art in the past eight years with that material. I've been engaging hundreds and thousands of people to connect to local material and to create art. Um, and I think it's happening. It's just finding the right, uh, the right platforms to take it to the future and making those projects bigger and more understandable. And what type of platforms would you like to see more of in the future? I think to, to me, more platforms that can bring collaborations between different creative uh, industries, um, music, light, uh, and then something physical maybe, um, um, different age groups. Um, I mean, I've already been seeing, I, I personally have been part of uh, a group of eight designers that went all the way from Milan to London and then to Paris and now back here with the UAE st uh, story um, that has been organized with uh, D3 and uh, Khaled al I mean, I see those platforms allowing us to connect to the you know uh, industry and to other parts of the world, but we need more of them and more opportunities for the creatives here to I think it's way easier sometimes to connect internationally and just forget the individuals that still exist here and who came from all over the world to connect to us. And also as well as, you know, like one of the, the founding, I guess, you know, people doing what you do, um, you know, we just want education in the last session and it's been mentioned a couple of times in this one. How important do you see your role um, in that process in terms of educating and supporting the next generation of up and coming talent, whether that be Emirati or you know the, the expat population? I think it's definitely very important and I think a lot of organizations have been helping us through you know publishing real books that have real information, archiving our work, our processes have been amazing. And in the same time I think we just need more of it to sort of be uh, to find available knowledge readily available for others. I mean, it is a digital world. Everybody searches online. You can find a lot, but I think we still need to to develop it further and and put real info and real knowledge rather than just you know beautiful pictures. 
And Paul, you know, we would be talking about technology, about the future. Dubai is this very forward-thinking um, Emirate city. Um, you know, with like, you know, Vision 21, Expo 2020 happening. So what's next? What do you see in terms of what you do and how that's going to, you know, progress in the future? And Dubai will, you know, potentially lead that. Um, definitely, as, as I say, a big fit with the, the vision for Dubai, uh, the Expo and, and what comes after. So the, the festival, we see the festival growing year after year, but beyond that, what we want is really to bring uh, visual art and, and, and I would say stuff, uh, venue like the dome, where visual can be used in various domains. Uh, for example, we have application in the medical sector uh, uh, to create immersive situation for people suffering from anxiety, you know, so you put them in an anxiety uh, environment and uh, you create this phenomenon and you work with medical doctors, with, with the patients. Same for real estate projects. So we, we just want to bring digital art on display for various uh, sectors <coughs> on top of the artistic sector, obviously, and our festival. So we just see the number of applications tremendous. And do you see um, any trends or anything coming from the UA which is going to start to impact and influence you know, what it is you do, you know, and yourself as an in terms of you know, artistry in the future? You know, a lot of stuff has often come into the region. Whereas now you're seeing this organically develop and then be, you know, shipped out to the wider world. How do you see that? Um, I see how Dubai is going to use something that exists. Let's say music. Uh, let's say creating an immersive situation uh, in an immersive environment. But how Dubai can amplify that? Like as long as they get and understand the product or technology, they will bring it up to the next level. You know, they're gonna they, they're gonna scale it up. They're gonna see, okay, you see the dome. What about we do a big tunnel that connects this venue to this venue? So it's just, you know, as soon as they get the thing, it's gonna be multiplied. That's, that, that's how I see it. Yeah, I mean, I think everything, um, we see the world as, you know, research and development, and then you suddenly see something big happening here in Dubai. Um, yeah, I, I think we always try to things bigger, better, and we get the best you know, knowledge available to, to make it happen. And I think Dubai has been fantastic in doing that. And I think that's going to be a testament to the, the artistic community. And, you know, again, fostering these collaborations and bringing people together and educating the next generation of artistic and creative talent. Anything else you'd like to add? What, like, what, what's, what's going to happen with you in the future, Alva? What's your next plans? I think definitely more collaborations, maybe with uh, younger designers that are uh, upcoming, um, and definitely larger scale uh, uh, public artworks. Amazing. And you, Paul, anything good coming up for the future? Yeah. Growing the festival, um, connecting with maximum number of people, introducing people to new venues, new way of uh, gathering, partying, celebrating art, uh, and yeah, bringing visual artists from the region and international artists all together. Amazing. That's the last of my questions. I don't know if anybody has a question. Yes. I'm going to run over. Uh, so my first question is to both of you. Um, we have been talking about the future, what the future of art is going to be. How were your practices and how did you mold them for the future? What is going to be? Be there in the future. But we are now talking about the nostalgic value of the artworks that we see now. So do you um, aim or do you already in your practice have the history of this land or maybe wherever you aim to uh, develop your work, your concept? So is there a nostalgic value to the projects that you guys are doing now? Are you looking into the past, connecting the past with the future for the future projects, or is it only in the past and just modern and just contemporary? Well, personally, my work uh, goes with the quote of Sheikh Zayed, uh, bless his soul, uh, who has no past, has no present or future. Um, and uh, the materials I work with as an artist, the stories that I try to tell uh, through my work, is all about bringing the past but in a totally contemporary context uh, for the young generation. I think a big part in, in the past 10 years since I got married and I started having my own family, um, I realized there are so many things that I'm 
you know, I didn't have, I didn't know about, I didn't even see a value in just because I lived in it. But then now for my kids, especially that they are half and half, um, I see it definitely very important for me to get them to understand who I am as an Emirati, who, uh, you know, the half is. I mean, we live in a very modern world and things are changing on daily pace. So definitely, I think connecting um, in a very uh, strong knowledge base, research, uh, is, is part of my practice, part of the art that I create, part of the uh, engagements, the art engagements that I do, um, is definitely a big part of that. Yeah, because like you belong to the UAE, you're an Emirati, and UAE is so famous for its very, very rich history, and the culture and the heritage. So definitely, it's a great opportunity for everyone. For us, it's, it's a bit different. Um, we are dependent on the artist, so I don't create the content of the festival. Uh, we had artists from other countries that were definitely emphasizing on their story uh, of, their, of their respective countries and bringing a lot of the tradition into digital art. Uh, and I'm sure if we come across Emirati artists, they're going to bring that in the equation as well. But uh, outside of the festival, I think that we can definitely and will, and it's already the case on the discussion we are having, uh, we work closely with government and cities, you know, uh, and we're going to obviously incorporate in the digital art the history and apply. Yeah, like, well, you just mentioned that you create the experience inside of a dome. Yeah. And dome is like very, very significant. Um, if, if I see it in perspective of, of applied physics or architecture, or the movement of sound, the movement of light. So it's a great opportunity. Before going to the tunnel, you have to explore more in yeah. the dome. Yes, of course. I agree. The tunnel was just an illustration because as soon as we started to talk, like it brought up the tunnel and a bigger structure, and because that's what's going to happen. But I agree with you. Should stick to the dome. 360. Dome is 360. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Finished. No more questions? Does anyone have a question? No, 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 we're good. Thank you so much, guys, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much to the panel, and it was great to meet you and great to, to find out a little bit more about what you guys do. Thank you.